Hello everybody, how's it going? Happy Valentine's Day, and nothing says Valentine's Day like the mad Arab Abdul Alhazred. Um, so, today we are going to be um, moving into the next part of the Cthulhu Mythos. Um, and we're going to be talking about The Nameless City by Mr. Lovecraft. <clears throat> now, this was written in 21. Um, oh, 100 years ago now. Look at that. Um, and this is still considered his early stuff. And there's a few things that he starts doing in this story that um, kind of foreshadow a lot of what he's going to be doing in the future. I'll, I'll give you a brief synopsis of the story. There's this archaeologist type dude. Um, he wants to find the nameless city and he's out in the Middle East somewhere um, in the middle of the desert and him and his camel go out there and he mentions um, Abdullah Hazred, but he doesn't t mention the Necronomicon. Um, and the lore, Abdullah Hazred is the one who um, wrote the Necronomicon. Um, but this is the first mention of him. Um, he finds this city and it's he has to go down and down and down and down and down um everything's shaped really weird the doorways are really small like you have to crawl through them and even crawling through them um doesn't seem to work right and he goes down and down and down for hours and hours and then um he comes to this big place where everything's illuminated and there's all these like hieroglyphics let's say where he sees um these creatures who um are part like crocodile part seal part this part that part this part that and he can't really describe them and um through reading these pictures um he kind of learns about this civilization um that was once great and now is not and this is a common theme in a lot of Lovecraft stuff where someone finds evidence of a civilization that um, in some cases were greater than humans and they even screwed up and um, everything was destroyed. Well, um, he realizes that these creatures probably um, like kind of crawled on their belly and that's how they could get through all these places. And, um, this door opens and he sees the spirits of these horrible, hideous creatures and they're coming for him. And then the wind shuts the door <clears throat> and he could make it out. So that's the end of the story. So the story itself isn't great. Um, it's good. It's not one of his, um, best works but there's a lot of stuff going on here um the lost civilization and lost species of people um that's a big thing he always talks about we have the mad arab in here um but we also have this thing that he will do a gajillion times to basically solidify the lore in the minds of people where he will talk about in describing what our protagonist is looking at or anything of that nature. He will bring up a place that's a real place um, a historical place, but then he'll also throw in like Sarnath 
a place that he's created. And when he does this, it makes the reader either think that the places that he's talking about are all real or all fake. But if they know one of them's real, when they hear the other one, they will assume that the other one is also real. And then when he's talking about literature, there's a part where um, the character is going over works of um, great authors, and he brings up um, real writers, um, and then we'll throw in Al Hazred in there. So, again, people think that Al Hazred is a real dude. So when... And he does this in a ton of his stuff that kind of solidifies all the lore and the mythos. So it gets to the point where, a hundred years later, some dumbass is making a video about it for YouTube because it's one of the things that has stuck around through pop culture um, over the last 40 years and more than that. So, um, yeah. So that's The Nameless City. Um, give it a read. A lot of people think it is almost like a practice run on at the mountains of madness even though like the locations are completely different the creatures are completely different um everything about it is completely different except for the fact that you're going on an expedition you find an ancient civilization and blah 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 so um i don't really think of it as such but I think this is a common trope that Lovecraft goes through. Um, because if you've read a lot of Lovecraft, everyone's finding civilizations and dead things that are not always going to be dead. So um, <clears throat> if you like this, let me know down below um, what you think of The Nameless City. Um, what are some of your favorite Lovecraft stories? Um, also, um, if you want to watch more of these um, videos about the Cthulhu Mythos, uh, the playlist will be somewhere. So until next time, bye-bye.